Cheapest Drip Irrigation for Plants Hello to all gardening enthusiasts, whether you're growing flowers and vegetables in your garden or on your balcony. In this video, you'll see what is likely the cheapest drip irrigation system you can create. Most of the items needed can be found around your home. This system can be used to irrigate cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, flowers, and many other plants. Why choose drip irrigation? Drip irrigation delivers water directly to the roots of the plants and thus reduces water wastage. It is ideal for summer and especially during dry and hot days. It also offers the possibility of heating cold water, easy addition of liquid fertilizer and many other benefits. It operates 24 hours a day and water refills are required every 4 hours to 5 days, depending on the size of the tank, in this case the volume of the pet bottle, and the drip rate setting. What you'll need. A pet bottle, from mineral water or cooking oil. A wood screw, 4 mm x 40 mm or other. A insulation tape, PVC electrical tape. And a lighter. All of these items can be found at home or purchased at a minimal cost. Later in the video, I'll show you how to adjust the drip rate, water refill intervals, and water heating. Interested in this video? Press the like button. All the buttons are below the video. Want updates on my other videos? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Want to share this video with friends? Use the share button. Try at least one option, it's all free. Now, let's get back to preparing the watering bottle. Heat the tip of the screw using a lighter for about 10 seconds. Near the bottom of the pet bottle, in the indented area, screw the heated screw into the bottle by hand to create a hole. Remove the screw and cover the hole with a piece of insulating tape. Screw the screw through the insulating tape into the hole in the bottle again. The size of the hole and the number of layers of tape affect the drip rate. Fill the bottle with water and open the cap to allow air to flow in. Place the bottle next to the plant you want to irrigate. Done. Drip rate and water refill settings. By adjusting the drip rate, you can tailor the irrigation to your plant's needs, soil type, dry season conditions, and other factors. To slow down the drip rate, add another layer of insulation tape over the first one. The more layers of tape, the slower the drip. This adjusts the time between drops from half a second to 4 seconds, resulting in refill intervals ranging from 4 hours to 5 days or more, see the table below. Time between drops and refill intervals for different bottle sizes. If the time between drops is half a second, water will drip for about 4 hours, for one and a half liter bottle. If the time between drops is 4 seconds, water will drip for about 5 days, for 5 liter bottle. After this, you'll need to refill the bottle. Water heating. To prevent heat shock to plants from cold water, you can use an additional set of bottles to ensure the plants are always irrigated with sun-warmed water at a suitable temperature. Procedure with two sets of bottles. Irrigation. Place one set of filled bottles next to the plants for irrigation. Heating. Fill the second set of bottles with cold water, cap them, and place them upside down in a sunny spot away from the plants to let the sun warm the water. Rotation. When the bottles by the plants are empty, collect them. Place the bottles from the second set with heated water in their place. Fill the empty bottles with cold water and place them in the sun to warm them up for the next rotation. This way, the two sets of bottles are alternated to provide a continuous supply of warm water for irrigation. Step-by-step -step Bottle Preparation 1. Start with an empty 1.5 liter pet bottle, larger bottles extend refill times. You'll also need a wood screw, 4 mm diameter, 40 mm long, PVC insulation tape, and a lighter. 2. Heat the screw tip with a lighter for about 10 seconds. The 40 mm length prevents burns. Stop heating when you feel warmth near your fingers. 3. Screw the heated screw into the bottle near the bottom to create a hole. 4. Remove the screw and cover the hole with a piece of insulating tape. Add more tape layers to slow the drip rate. Keep the bottle surface clean and dry for better tape adhesion. 5. Screw the screw back into the hole through the tape. 6. Fill the bottle with water and open the cap to allow airflow. Check the drip rate. If the time between drops is about 4 seconds, a 1.5 liter bottle will need refilling after approximately 32 hours. 7. Place the bottle next to the plant and check the cap opening and drip rate. Fine-tune the drip by adjusting the screw. 
Good luck with your irrigation system.